guys, it's Kelly from Kelly Lee Creates, and today I have a tutorial for you on how to use fonts in Silhouette Studio. I'm going to show you how to install your fonts, um, how to uh, access the fonts, and also how to edit your text. Um, so first things first, in Silhouette Studio, your fonts are located over here in the text style panel. You can get to your fonts on from this panel on the left hand side or from this drop down menu up at the top. And you can scroll through and see all the fonts that are available to you. Now, every single font on your computer is available for you to use in Silhouette Studio. So you don't have to install the fonts um, into Silhouette Studio. If it's on your computer, it will be loaded into Silhouette Studio. Now, um, one thing to remember is if you have Silhouette Studio open and you download a font while the program is open, you're going to have to close Silhouette Studio and reopen it after you have downloaded the font in order for the font to load in the program. Okay, so now that you know how to access the fonts in Silhouette Studio, I'm gonna show you a little bit about how to use them. So over here is your text tool. So just tap, click on that, and then choose any font in your drop-down menu. I'm gonna choose this one called Lofty Goals. It's a script font that I have uh, downloaded. So I'm just gonna tap on that and then type out something. How about the word hello? And then I'm going to increase the size of this. Okay, now if you want to edit your text after you type it out, all you have to do is double click until this cursor appears and then you can edit your text just like in any word processing program. Uh, like I said before, like I showed you before, you can uh, increase or decrease the size of your text by either dragging the box or you can increase it or decrease it with this drop down menu right here. And you can also access that drop down menu at the top here. So, some fonts come with uh, what are called glyphs, uh, and those are alternate characters. They can be in the form of different um, styles of letters or swashes um, or symbols. And the way to access glyphs in Silhouette Studio is under the textile panel up here. If you just click on this G, you will get all the glyphs of the font that you have typed out. So I'm using my font that I created called Happy Hour. And as you can see, it's a pretty simple font, but I have added a few glyphs to it. And if you scroll all the way down on your glyphs panel, you will see that the extra characters are down here at the bottom. So I put in a couple extra H's, I put in a different style L, and I also added uh, some ligatures, which are two letters combined into one. So I'm going to show you how to change this H and the L. So all you have to do is highlight the letter that you want to change, and then come over here and click once in the glyph panel, and you can see that it changes. And so I'm just going to do that with the L's. and with this owl. So that's all you need to do to uh, access and change uh, the glyphs. So now I wanted to share with you a little bit about script fonts. So you can see here this font that I've created. Some of the letters are script and some aren't. But if we want to cut this font out, we're going to have to do a little bit to it uh, before we send it to cut because right now if we were to cut this out, uh, our silhouette would cut this line right here on the H and then it would leave, you know, a, a 
cutout in the E. And so to fix that, all we have to do is select the word and come over here to the Modify panel. And if you click on Weld, you'll see that everything now uh, welds together. So I'm just going to go back and show you what this looks like in the Send panel before you weld it. So this is how it would cut out. This red, all the red lines would cut out. So there would be, you know, a little gap in your E and in your L and in your O, and you would have to piece that all together. And it gets very frustrating and not necessary. So if we go back here and weld it together, then when you go over to the sun panel, you can see that everything is connected together and everything will cut out the way you want it. So the next thing I want to talk about is how to uh, fill your fonts with uh, color and or patterns. And this is useful if you are creating a print and cut design. So it's very easy. Just uh, highlight the text that you want to fill and come over here to the fill panel. Click on that and you can see all the colors available. So if you just tap on a color, it fills your text with that color. And you can also fill it with patterns. So if you click on the pattern, it has several default patterns in here that you can apply. And then you just double click, actually single click on any one of these patterns to apply some patterns to your lettering or to your text. Here is how to uh, create curved text around a circle. Uh, this is really popular if you want to make a decal or a sticker or just, you know, curve your text uh, around a circle. So I want to preface this by saying this does not work um, if you have welded a script font together. This only works with fonts that haven't been welded together, fonts that aren't script fonts. So that's why I'm choosing this type of font right here. This is my happy hour font, but I have not um, used the special characters that I showed you before. Uh, draw your circle. You come over here to your drawing tools, choose your circle and click and drag to create a circle. Then you tap on your text until this green box and the cursor appears and you have this little circle here with this black cross. So if you just click and drag that down to your circle, you can see that your text curves around the circle. Now to adjust your text once you get it curved around the circle, you can slide this slider right here to make it uh, closer to the circle or further away. So I'm going to slide it right down here so it about touches the circle. And then you can also do some more adjustments uh, over here in the text panel. You can do some more character spacing adjustments. You can move your characters uh, closer or further apart. So that is a little intro on how to install and use uh, fonts and edit text in Silhouette Studio. If you like this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And if you want more tutorials like this, please visit my blog at kellyleecreates.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.